is going on adventurers we are doing a different kind of video today we are actually in the last resort which is the biker bar where eileen warnos was apprehended after her killing spree i hate to say it like that uh, i know i mean but I that's know. basically how yeah. you would classify it i yeah. mean you know she had her reason for doing what she did it, it's not right you know she was she was dealt a very bad hand in life so um we're gonna go ahead and actually do a spirit box session right now al has told us that she is here mm -hmm. uh he's heard things he's um felt her presence he she's touched him yeah i hope she touches incredible. us too yeah it's pretty incredible i hope she touches me inappropriately so i can say that i was inappropriately touched by eileen <laughs> warner <laughs> Truly sorry when she, because she, they came here long before they made the movie, so she could get the thrill of the place. The last resort bar here in Daytona where Eileen Warnes was arrested from the murder of seven men. She was the Florida's first female serial killer, but she had a horrible past. There's a uh, tons and tons of story out there. Uh, Crime classics is Eileen and in this area was uh, outlaw women. Okay. There's wow. stories of her in there and pictures of the bar. And this is uh Shalice Durin. In May of ninety nine she was a playmate. Wow. Oh wow, that's the woman that played that plays her, Eileen. Okay. Night and day. And the way <laughs> they made her up was, was amazing. It's on it's on tape you got on the movies if you go to the theaters on the on the movies and stuff. Yeah. But it's um so Al knew her really well, gave her a place to sleep. Um, so what was your, I mean, were you shocked to hear what happened when, when she was arrested? I mean, were you shocked about yeah, that? Yeah, because it wound up back back in those days, don't forget this was in 91, 92. Right. It was a, Current Affairs was on, mm -hmm. 60 Minutes, all them programs and everything. Yeah. And Geraldo's brother came down here, lots of people. Celebrities came down here to uh, interview us and stuff. He was just, he was okay here, just like anybody else. A couple of beers and food and all. Yeah. She didn't, she never took, I see everybody thinks she took him out of here. She never took him out of here. This was when she was in town or stayed at the motel. This is where she was. Now, Richard Mallory. Killed. He was just recently out of jail. He was a sexual predator. And in the trunk of his car was ropes and saws and tape. He was actually probably going to kill her. Did they ever convict him of, of murder as well? Or just, the, like they said, he was a serial rapist, but maybe he did kill people and he was never arrested for it? Or? No, he was just out of jail. Who knows if he killed people? Before. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I That's was, what I was thinking too. Yeah. Because he sodomized them, you know? Yeah. He tried to look and sodomize her and shit. Yeah. Here's your who you are. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tried to get out. Exactly. And, and then he found, she was found in a trunk to stuff. Thanks to Patty, Patty Jenkins, the movie is, is pretty accurate. Okay. That's the good. Research, that was my next question. Okay, the research good. that they've done on it and talking to Dawn Bopkins, who's up in Michigan, and then, which was Eileen's friend in the school days. Uh-huh. See, her, her, her and Dawn were hitchhiking when they were teenagers back then. Two guys, which um, Dawn is still married to the guy, George, they were in the gas station gassing up. And Dawn was hitchhiking, so they were on the ride. And so Dawn got the front seat with George, she's still married to the guy. Right. Eileen got in the back with his, with his cousin or whatever, and just, it just took him around. I mean, she didn't start her buildings until Richard Bellary when she was, I don't know. Right. Yeah, I think it, it something snapped inside of her. Yeah, you know, I... A little bit of PTSD. I was going to say, I got, I got PTSD, with, like... Well, she had a life because she was sexually abused as a kid. As a child, yes. By, by the grandparents, and yep. the grandparents' friends, and the grandmother's She had a rough, the very beginning of her life. Because her father committed suicide while he was in prison. He was oh, a really? He was a child molester. Oh, God. Wow, what a rough life. That's just... Poor woman. But uh, see, see what people don't understand, as we can look at it now, she had a tough life. 
if we look back at our life, the way they teach the cake neither. This is why they, I say this. The person from the bad kids, the bad parents. Yes. They can only learn from what they see and hear. Sure. If they see the mother getting hit by the father, they grow up, they think that's the way right there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They don't know. You got that right. So, so that's what it is. It's the, uh, the parents, and then the kids just go out and actually try and survive. And they tried to survive the way they know how to survive. Yes, yeah. You know, she was handed a raw deal from the very beginning, yep. early, early. But, but nobody life. knows that. I know. You know I can see that, that just from watching the movie. You even know the writer and the, the writer of the movie, and knowing that it's true to the, you know, everything that really well, happened. This is why, when you see the movie Monster, uh, it's pretty much true. She filmed it in the places it happened. Okay. And talked to the people because you know. Most of the people are gone and dead and stuff like that. So the few of us that's alive, because when we die, it's just like Bonnie and Clyde. It's yeah. never going to go away. Yeah. But what they take and do is just keep right on going with their stories, and it's stories get made up as they go along. Yes. That's why the movie Monster is pretty damn accurate. Pretty damn accurate. The reason it's called Monster is not that she's she was a monster. The only thing she feared in life. Was a Ferris wheel. We see it in the movie. Yes. And she called it a monster. Yes. Yep. So, I, I mean, that's, that. see, that's misleading. Right? They think the movie's about her being a monster, and it wasn't about her being a monster. It was the fear that she had in life was that Ferris wheel. She called it a monster. That's right? crazy to me that that was her biggest fear. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like wow. And I could tell in the movie that there was a couple of them. She felt a lot of remorse after killing them. Oh yeah. A, a psychopathic, psychopath first type of person would would not feel that type of remorse. Well, after Richard Mallory, then anybody who abused her or tried to abuse her, he killed. But then with Ty, Ty was a bitch. The first bar scene that you see is a bar down in Miami. She got, uh, that's why they arrested him here for the whole world. So that was a that wasn't just a trick to get her in there. It was really an old warrant. Uh -huh. I wondered about that. Yeah, I did too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And see, when she came in here the night before, she was at a bar that's no longer exists. That's why it was there. she was walking from the bar, which is the next block, down here, and Port Orange cop stopped her Listen, to talk to her and kind of like that. And on radio, they told her. Just, just let it go. She's on the investigation. Even a guy who done the investigation, we filmed in here about three hours with him, and I kept on telling him, I said, you know, you're the guy that done the investigation. He followed her around and, and done that. He had nothing to do with nothing else. That's all he did was that. I says, um, half the stuff you said isn't even true. He said, and he said well, if that's how I remember. I says, it was wrong, right? Like, I'm 80 years old, so. I'm just, you know, I still yeah. have my, I, I know what happened. I'm you're never, 80 years old. You are? I have it together. Yeah, I would have never guessed What? You. Yeah, you, you're so... I still ride motorcycles. Wow. I was thinking 65. I was too. Yeah, I'm like 65. You make 80 look good. I hope I look that good when I'm 80. Too, right? <laughs> I, I kind of got that Ty used her. Like, that's what I kind of got. I mean, you think that's accurate? Uh -huh. Yeah, I did too. I just can't imagine. Uh, do you think she ever loved her or not? Um, yes. You do? In a strange way. Okay. I mean, it, like there to me, it just seemed like she wanted to be taken care of, and she yeah, just latched so on. They were both looking to be loved. That's because with Eileen, that was her only lesbian experience was the time. In movies, they have to make things happen in two hours. So, how long do you think they were actually friends until they became, you know, together? Do you think they had been friends for a little while, or do you think yeah, it happened? They were friends before they were ever together. Oh, okay. See, that's what I was saying. I was like, that yeah, that yeah. happened awful quick. Well, in the movie, they, they yeah. I mean, they have two hours. Yeah, yeah, so, so they you know, they have to excel well, everything. Yeah. Oh, it was in Miami, is where she. Yeah. Was. Oh, I see. I didn't know that either. I didn't either. I guess she hitchhiked up here. Yeah, she hitchhiked everywhere. Wow. Wow. Yeah, back then hitchhiking was a big thing. Yeah, different I think world. I forget, this was uh, uh, 89, 90. She was only doing this for just a little over a year. Oh, they didn't find the body on one of them? Yeah, the preacher, the one from Palm Beach. Oh, no. Oh, really?
It says what? somebody was from uh, Pasco County, Patty. What? That's right by us. It is. I didn't know that. I thought Charles. she killed them all from this area. So they weren't all from this area. Well, I'm here trying to this is where she'd come after the kill. This is why it was so hot to oh. track it down. Oh, wow. wow. And when Ty had the accident with the car, they wouldn't recognize her. And then there was Lawrence. Uh, yeah. Yes. Lawrence out of it and stuff like that. Yeah. And then they started trying to find out where she was and, and stuff like that. And that's great. Because they started across the street. The parking lot over there years ago. And they had a listening device. So they knew everything that was being said inside the bar. Oh, wow. And when they arrested them, they took them the suitcase at the door. They bring it, brought it inside, set it on a pool table. And the reason they wanted to arrest her outside was they didn't know if she had the gun on her. Or, oh. Now, that first bridge right there is where she threw the gun in. Oh, is it? Which one? The first bridge right by the motel. Oh, oh they, really? They screwed in right there. Did they find it? Yeah. Oh, they did find the gun? Okay. Yeah. Wow. She that was, was some a, gun. She was a prostitute yeah, that turned murder and they, brought, and they uh, prosecuted her as a uh, murderer that was a prostitute. And she, re and she requested to be executed. Oh, she wanted to be executed? After 12 years, yeah. She was, oh, I very, didn't know that. Very, very intelligent woman. I think she had an IQ like 147. Wow. Yeah. Now, I did read that her father was schizophrenic. I think that's correct. Do you know if she was schizophrenic at all? Um, I don't know. I only see him in here. Yeah. Yeah. Not like we went out anywhere or did anything. Or, right. right. It just, I don't know. I mean, did they even do psych evaluations back then? When people went to prison? I don't even know if they used to do that. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know if they did or not. I, I mean, don't think that's so. That's the thing, you know. And she had access to some help. I mean, it was hard to find it back then. It's kind of hard to find it nowadays. Yeah. But it was really hard to find, so, you know. But she didn't know she needed help. She was just exactly. trying to Exactly. And a lot of people don't. And still today, there's a lot of people walking around that don't realize they need help, and they really do. That's like what's going on with all this stuff now. It's exactly. Only, it's only what you what you told him to yep. see. And yep. you can't even believe it anymore. Yep. The internet is totally destroyed. You know, because like I said, she was dealt a, a shitty hand from day one, you know, when she was a child, and, and that made her who she was. And at 14 years old, she was a prostitute, she had to show a tip to everything for a damn cigarette. I can't imagine. Yeah, I can't imagine yeah. that. But they don't know anybody, that's where you, yeah, I know. Where your life was. Or, or to, if you don't know anybody, to, that, to that's exist. all you know. Oh, you want a cigarette? Okay, here, give me a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the beginning of the movie, I don't know if you saw the very beginning. Did you see the very beginning I when it showed her as a kid? No, I did not. I okay. That part of the movie. Well, it was interesting because of what she said. She's like, I'm going to be famous and all this stuff. I mean, yeah, that kind of came true. Yeah. I mean, it did, but it wasn't what she intended, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. But it's she just. Be a movie star yeah. Or it's just sad, you know, that it yeah, had to happen that way. Like everybody else. Right. And Ty got in the way. Was she really trying to get a legit job and everything? It's so sad. That like that broke my heart. I understand how she became who she was and, and what, what she did. I, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. She wound up in that bar, that gay bar down in Miami, because it was raining out. And she had a few bucks, and then the the Ty was hanging out, and she was feeling sorry for herself because they sent her down. Because of a lesbian. Mm. And then they just hit it up and just was seeing each other. And just one thing can completely change the course of your life. Just it, it one second. Yeah. Just one. It, not even an indiscretion. Like it doesn't even have to be something negative. Just one, you know, one decision that you make can affect your entire life. I know. It's, it's crazy how that works. I know. You know? And this is a prime example. I mean, yeah, and, it it change, and it changes every, every minute. It does. It does. And, um, and how you're treated as a child. Absolutely. Who you all become. And you can't take that from Yeah. I know women that have been raped as young children and things like that. And, and they're still to this day, they're, they're not right. They may have done somewhat okay in life, but it's always there. And it always affects them. It affects everybody differently. But yeah. 
It really has messed their heads up. Guys, Al is a really amazing man. So nice of him to take the time to talk to us today and tell us all about his personal experiences with Eileen Warnos. Um, it's just such a tragic story and you know, it does make me very sad, but please go onto his website. It's The Last Resort, right? Okay. Your website? The Last Resort or Al Bowen, I think The Last Resort. Uh... Okay, go onto his website, The Last Resort. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna put it in the description of the video. So please go on to his website and purchase some t-shirts. If you're ever in the Daytona area, stop by the last resort, come pay Al a visit. You can also see this little memorial area that he has in memory of Eileen, which was one of his good yeah, friends. Yeah, Teddy Bear did that. She uh, awesome. played airbrush artist. And, uh, That's really cool. Says it all right there. It, it really does. It, it does say it all. You can but see her sadness. Lord knows what's on everything. Oh, okay. Oh yes, I read about this. So she was married to a billionaire. Yeah. He, she was married to a billionaire. Are you serious? He owned a yacht club or somebody. She beat him up with his own cane. She beat his ass with his own cane. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's weird because I kind of got a weird head rush when I was sitting here doing the interview. I kind of feel like she's here. I do too. Yeah. I do too. Can you tell us what you just said again, Al, about when she was executed? in the morning we had all the news media here and it was on on television and then they took me uh, half, half hour after she was executed all the knives came flying off the shelves that was in a tin over there and there, wow. nobody, and there was nobody back there and everybody in the bar was kind of surprised what happened too the news media i think picked up and left did they really <laughs> good for her chasing them out and that was here in the bar Oh wow, that's crazy! Yeah, she she loved this place. I can she did. I can feel it. You know. She wasn't being put down for for the reason. Being judged. I mean, as far as I'm, she wasn't no ugly woman. She wasn't a beautiful woman. But I mean, the lifestyle that she lived. I mean, what do you expect? You want to judge people by the way they dress? I mean, come on. Right. What would, what would you like us to know about you? Tough. Tough. Yeah, I know you were that. I'm really sorry about what happened to you. Did you just touch me? Yes. I'm giving you permission. You can touch me. Oh, I just felt a breeze. Was that you? Yes. Can you show yourself to me? <laughs> Did you say you that you grabbed my ass? <laughs> Did. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Uh, well, thanks for that. We are actually getting ready to head over to the hotel where you stayed for a short time down the road. So we would love it if you would follow us there uh, just to talk to us a little bit more. Thank you so much for talking to us today. These are the bumper stickers that you can get. Also, they have Eileen's hot sauce and seasoning as well. And here is... We're here with your friend Al. Very nice guy. I can see why you liked him so much. He has your picture posted up here and everything. You even have your own hot sauce. Yes, your own hot sauce, your own t-shirt and everything. Your own butt rub. Show them what you can do. 
can do. Thank you so much, Eileen. Thank you and rest in peace. So guys, Al was just telling us that Eileen played a lot of pool. And this is the pool table. And this is the actual pool table. So yep. we're gonna see if maybe she wants to uh, rack them up. Yeah. Eileen, you wanna play a game of pool? If so, please touch that light for us. Okay, so I just walked in here. These shirts are actually moving, Jen. Look at these. I mean, I walked this way about seven or eight oh, minutes wow. ago. But would they still be moving? If Not I like that. Hmm. That's no, no, interesting. No, no. I mean, it could be for me bumping them, but why would they still be moving that long ago? Yeah, like, I, I don't think they would here. be. He said this was the door, and this is the door they took her out of when she was arrested. Oh. Right there. Wow. That's it. I mean, this is history right here.